Jack Canfield was born in the early 1940s when World War II was in full swing. He was born to an alcoholic father and a mother whose name is unknown. He had a very difficult childhood. Many years later, the young lad was admitted into Harvard, where despite his love for the literary arts, he got a C plus in writing and was told by his professors that he was an average writer. But Jack refused to listen. His journey truly began in 1990 when Jack shared his idea with Mark Victor Hansen to collect stories for a self-help book. The duo later turned this idea into a phenomenal series titled Chicken Soup for the Soul. After significant time laboring, the book was completed within three years and contained 68 stories which were true inspirational stories about ordinary people they had given motivational talks to. The book was rejected by major publishers. Being rejected by about 144 publishers seemed like a big challenge and an insurmountable obstacle for Jack and his colleague. In fact, when Jack told one of the publishers that he was hoping to sell about 1.5 million copies within the first two years of publishing, the publisher laughed in his face and told Jack he would be lucky to sell even 20,000. Jack was committed to his life principles. He persevered and eventually convinced a minor publisher in Florida that his book would certainly sell a few thousand copies. After about 14 months, his book was finally published by the publisher in Florida. To his wildest surprise, his book became the third best-selling book in the United States during the mid-1990s and sold 10 million copies around the world. Today, the Chicken Soup for the Soul brand is an international brand worth about $1 billion with over 500 million books sold. I have said this before and I'll repeat it here. Nobody knows what you're capable of doing, not even your parents, siblings or friends. You don't even know what you are capable of achieving until you try. Because nobody knows what you're capable of achieving, you can be sure that 9 out of 10 people you'll meet in your life will either discourage you or refuse to support your dreams. Because you also don't even know what you're capable of doing, it's super easy to believe that 90% of people are right. That's when courage comes in. You must love your dream enough to want to risk failing. You must love your dream enough to want to try even if you become the laughing stock. You must love your dream enough to want to die for it. Because if you don't want to sacrifice your all, then at a point, you might be discouraged. When I started out in the business world, everyone told me that I would not succeed. I told myself, even if I will die trying, I will keep on trying. J.K. Rowling said, It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. Yes, when everyone around you thinks you're dumb and cannot be successful, when they appear to be waiting for when you will regret your decision, it actually does take a lot of courage to stand up look at their faces and tell them, if I perish, I perish. It's part of life's difficulties that we all have negative people around us. They are mountains you need to climb. Even though the mountain is slippery, you must not see it as unsurmountable. Jack Canfield said, if you're going to be successful, you need to give up the phrase, I can't, and all of its cousins, such as, I wish I were able to. If Jack Canfield had not believed in himself, the world around him would have killed his dreams. If you allow life's difficulties to kill your dreams, they will. But if you think you can, then you can. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next videos. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.